All right, we're going to do another unboxing video here. This one is for an HD video camera. Now, the video camera I'm using now is the JVC Averio, and you can check my previous videos about the unboxing and the actual uh, features of it and all that. Uh, one thing I did want to do with my videos from here on out is I did want to upgrade the video fidelity, the video quality, because the video camera I'm using right now is a standard definition camera, and I did want to do a uh, HD camera for my videos, especially when I do uh, a tutorial on screen, and you really can't see, you really can't make out um, some of the words and things like that, so I want a little bit higher fidelity on that. So I bit the bullet and I'm getting a, or I have right in front of you here, I have a Kodak HD video camcorder. It's uh, one of the lower end models. I plan on doing uh, 720p, although the, the camcorder does do uh, a 1080p as well. And I'm going to mount it on a tripod. So basically I should get a little bit better quality videos from here on out. So let me do the unboxing here. And I got this from Amazon for $112, I think it is, brand new. So let's just slice this open here. Now this is a uh, camera that uses SD cards. So it doesn't, there's no uh, hard drive on it or anything like the camera I'm currently using. Now we're doing a box within a box here because I did just get this from from Amazon. I've got my packing label here. And here's the box. It's the Kodak PlaySport. And it's actually waterproof. So that's one of the re main reasons I chose this one over um, some of the other options like uh, an HD Flip or uh, Sony Bloggy, plus the price. But mainly uh, the waterproof abilities because I actually have a Pentax waterproof camera, uh, a point and shoot, and I love it. Every summer I take it to the beach and do underwater shots or shots in the, in the waves, stuff like that. So let me zoom in a little bit more on this. And let's open this up. There we go. And it's nice packaging. It's a, uh, if you read here, I don't know if you can see, it does 1080p HD video. And it has a five megapixel camera for still shots. And you can take it up uh, into underwater uh, for three meters or 10 feet, which is cool, what I was just telling you about. The model I chose is blue. And here it is. It's sort of the size of a, uh, cell phone and it's in its packaging there and then you have your controls here and your screen there but uh, we'll get to that in a second let's get to what else is in the packaging here piece of cardboard first cord is a TV cord so if you want to play whatever is on the camera on your TV you can do that an adapter to plug it into the wall A USB to mini USB cord, an HDMI cord, which is nice. Got a lanyard there, and the battery right there. And down here is the documentation, and that is pretty much it. Now the camera itself, it's in a little plastic coating here, so let's get it out. Like I said, it's about the size of a cell phone. It's a little thicker than a typical regular cell phone, but it is a nice rugged little camcorder because, like I said, you can take it underwater. I think that's probably the third time I've mentioned it, but uh, it's a very important feature. Now the back is blue, it's just a matte plastic, and here's your lens up here. On the side here, everything is covered up because uh, 
it does have to be waterproof. This here opens, and I have to take this plastic off here first, so let's do that. And there's another piece on the side here. All right, just pulling the plastic off of the side here. All right. On the right side of the device, you have a little door here, and they're all your ports, your HDMI, your uh, audio video port, your um, USB port, they're all there. On the top, there's nothing on the top there. On the left side, you have another door here, and that's where your battery and your SD card go in. On the bottom, you have your basic tripod mount there, and a hole here for your lanyard. And on this side, you have your the back of the camera, where you have your lens. It's uh, it looks like a it would be a rubberized back, but it's not. It's more of a plastic matte back here, and then you've got a glossy back up top here. And the front of the camera here, you have your readout here, your screen, and then you have all your controls down here. And it looks like some sort of directional control here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to charge this up, put the battery in, charge it up, and fire it up so you can see what it's like and what some of the options are on it. And from here on out, I'm going to be doing my videos for, for uh, this channel with this camcorder. And again, it has a tripod mount there, so I'm just going to keep it stationary and do all my videos through this so I can get a higher uh, fidelity 1080p or 720p depending on what turns out better for YouTube. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.